Now then guys, how are you doing? Back on the road again, and today, me and cameraman, we're in that there Liverpool, and we have come to apparently the best Caribbean cafe, restaurant, whatever you want to call it, takeaway in Liverpool, it's called Ragga's Caribbean Cafe, so let's go see if Ragga 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 Taurus, Ragga Ragga Man can sort me out with some fat, fat scran, ho oh, ho, let's go! Right, we are looking, it should just be down here, cameraman, ho oh, oh. Ragga's, there you go mate, there it is, something. We are in business. Ragga's Caribbean Cafe. Let's get down here, thank you love. And see if we can spin the block and get parked up somewhere near it. And see what it's all about. I've got a new, I've got a new found passion for uh, Caribbean food. I love it, I, I like the rice and peas, gives it a nice good kick, especially if they've got a bit of coconut in there. But the jerk chicken, curry goat, I've said this before, it's it's flavours that I've never tried before before I started doing rate my takeaway. I'm sure you I'm sure you're sick of hearing that now. But I'm looking forward to trying this out. So we're at proper like back streets of Liverpool here, look at this, broken glass, smashed in windows. Here we go. Hey up. Playing football in the street, I've not seen this since that back in the day. There we go, look at this guys. Du, 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 du. I used to play Kirby all the time. I'm not kidding. Like, I think I watched that documentary of Wayne, Ro Wayne Rooney. He was saying like, like this. Out on streets, on street like this, playing football with mates. Kicking ball about. Right, so. We'll get here, look. We'll get here. Bosh. It's just down there. Right. Let's go see what Raggers has got to offer. Liverpool. Top Caribbean cuisine, here I come. <laughs> here we go, guys, here we go. Right, oh, so we're done. On some kind of back street in Liverpool, and we're about to go review Ragga's Caribbean Cafe. Now, of all the Caribbean places that there is in Liverpool, this one you guys from around here are saying is top is coming up the best so I thought right well while we're here let's get a little bit of this I don't know fell over then come on let's get a little bit of carafoon cara, carafoon carafoon food inside my belly I can't keep my teeth in today right come on let's go it is it's like uh, I love saying that, kids still out playing football in the street. Nowadays, you go down more streets and it says, no ball games, and it's taking away the fun of childhood. But obviously here, they're, uh, kids are out playing. They don't care about signs. <laughs> Just because they're hitting them. Right, here we go. Ooh, where's it? There's a right whiff coming from there. I think the front of it's around here, I think, come on. Smells good, that right? A bit of fried chicken. That's what it smells like, anyway. Right, let's go in and let's see what's happening. Whoa, whoa look at this camera, man. Oh, it smells all right in here, doesn't it? I love you, all right? All right, now I've walked in here. It smells good. It smells good. So I've been recommended to come down and try it out. Apparently, it's the best Jamaican place in, in Liverpool. That's a big ask, is that like, isn't it? So, what do you recommend? Top three. Yeah, <laughs> that looks like it's going to be easy. Jerk chicken is a sellout always. So yeah. Definitely top three. Brown stew chicken and a bit of curry mutton. So yeah. I'll have all of them then, please, yeah. with a small. Yeah. What, it all comes with rice. Do you want rice and peas or white rice with your meals? Uh, I'll have, well, I'll have a couple with rice and peas yeah. and one with just white rice, please. Yeah. And then can I also try a festival? Festival, just one, yeah. Yes, please. And can I get some jerk gravy? Uh, go on then, I'll have a fried dumpling as well, please. And a bottle of water, please, love. Can I pay on card, please, love? Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I'm just going to pop a table and chair up outside, yeah. if that's yeah. all right, love. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, right. Thank you very much. Right, 18 quid. Let's go, guys. Whoa. Lot of grub. 
Oh, there we go, cameraman. Woo! So, smells nice in there, you know. As soon as you walk in, you get that smell of jerk seasoning. That charcoal smell where they're charring off the chicken. I can't wait for this, you know. So, they've got quite a big menu there, but they've got like a segregated top three. So, I thought, right, well, let's just go for top three. She said it's good enough. Let's go for it. Oh, it's got a toe knacker cracking away. Oops, sorry, mate. I'm going to tuck the out, top bike. j test. Oh, there we go. So, here we are, Liverpool. We're here at Raggers. And, uh, yeah, so far, with my nose detector, it smells pretty good. So, I'm looking forward to this. And as, as I've said, I've got a newfound love for Jamaican food, so let's fill me up. We've been in Liverpool all day. We've been chilling out, it's starting to get a bit chilly now. I need something to warm cockles. <laughs> and what better than a bit of ragga? Ragga tardy. So someone's been having me sing this song. What is it? How's it going now? I'm gonna make love you. Something like that. Bob I can't sing it, I don't know what I'm talking about. Talking gibberish. I just know that I'm hungry now. And I'm looking forward to some lovely, beautiful food from this place. It, uh, the smell's coming out of here. It's not my eyes that are watering, it's my taste buds that are watering through my eyeballs. Ah, <laughs> yes. I've got my song in my head, I just can't sing it. It's one of these, you know, when you've got your 14 year old teenage daughter in the car, blasting out belters. You know, that's that, that, this is how it goes. I'm gonna give you some love. Oh mate, I'm looking through the window now. There's people sitting in having food. So you can sit in, you can take away. There was a young lady that popped in after me, I think she just wanted some rice and peas. She's shot off, jumped in car, gave me thumbs up. So it's apparently it's irregular for a lot of people around here. And there's a there's a bit of a story. From what I believe, I think it was some old bloke ragger that were, that was selling the rice and peas and the chicken from his house back in the day. So a guy come along and said, let's get you a shop. And this is it. Fruits of the labour are here. Let's see what we've got. I can see it coming out, cameraman. Oh, yes. How are you, love? So we've got, this is the J of chicken. Oh, wow. And peas and a this is your mutton. Uh, white rice and a dumpling. Thank you. And brown shoes come in that as well. Yeah, and a bottle of water, please. Oh, thank you. Wow. Now, already, I'm contemplating. You up, mate? That looks nice, that, mate, doesn't it? It does. It looks good, that. It looks good. <laughs> it does look good. Looks a bit of a cross between. You know, oh, thank you very much. Here we go. Lovely jubbly. So we've got dumpling and we've got festival. And there's your brown shoe and there's your jake gravy. And the jake gravy. Look yep. at that. Thank you very much, love. Thank you. Right. So anybody think that's soup, but it's not. It's a nice bit of gravy. Jake gravy to go on all of this. All right. I'm going to dip my gear in there. I've got my dumpling. I've got my festival, I'm going to see how it tastes in both of them. But I'm going to start off with this one. Alright. Stewed chicken. Well done, mate. Alright, Paul, how are you doing? Hello, how are you? Good, mate, thank you. Have you, have you been to this place? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just about to start now. What's it like? Oh, yeah. Nice one. Take care, take care, guys. Right, so, let's start off. Rice and peas, look at this, oh mate. That. 
fluffed up. And that's got a beautiful flavour. No peed. Absolutely bang on. This is what I love about rice and peas. That's just, it's just a meal in its own. So I think what you've got to get in your head as well is that each of these dishes are like five pound each. This is a small five pound each. And you get the rice, the rice and peas. You know what you want with it. Do you know what I mean? Look at that chicken breast there. Now, a lot of the time, with a jerk chicken, it comes on bone and you're having to fiddle about. Some people like that, some people don't. I like it like this. Oh, mate. Well, coconut. Oh, that. I don't know why I'm holding my hand out like that as if somebody's going to nick my gravy. <laughs> I don't know why. But I'm getting some of that jerk skin in here. That chicken. So tender. And you've got the spiciness of the, the jerk. It just hits you. Back at throat, bang. Got bits of peppers in there. Mix this juice with rice and chicken. Hot, hot. Oh. Been in my mouth. All right, let's wet the whistle. So, I might as well go straight into the festival. So the festival, look at this, it's like a big fat donut. Massive donut, it's like a, a little French stick donut. <laughs> Let me try a bit without the, the gravy, then I'm going to try the gravy with this. Not a nice sweetness to it. It's definitely got a nice... Christmas, right? Let's try this jerk gravy out. Look at this. Oh, mate. Looks like tomato soup, not stale soup. Oh, wow. So, you got onions and peppers in there. A little bit on the spoon. So, so far, so good. The jerk chicken with the rice and peas and the jerk gravy. In the festival, oozing with flavour, popping off, tastes great, absolutely bang on. Let's go down like a little circle here. So now we've got shield brown chicken here, all right. So we've got some boiled rice, I think there's a bit of jerk gravy on here as well. Oh, you know what? That smells good, that you know. Might be the juice from this actually. One more love. Oh, there. Yeah. Wow. That guys, let's get this chicken in. Oh my days. That is absolutely amazing. So I've had stewed chicken many a times. And my grandma just stew chickens up with taties and veg and all that. But this, oh, look at that, pops open. You've got lumps of chicken breast, all right, lightly coated, stewed up with this rice. It tastes absolutely amazing. The rice is soft, the chicken has got slight little tang to it and it just leaves your taste buds wanting more it's tingling tingling away you know what that with a bit of mash be absolutely bang on if i'm honest with you that'd be my kind of meal get that in a yorkshire pudding with a bit of mash <laughs> hey away you go that's why people call me the yorkshire jerk because <laughs> i'm taking these old classic recipes Making them into somewhere else. So here we go. We have got curry mutton, curry goat. How are we doing, pal? All right. Hello, mate. 
How are you? Nice to meet you in person. Nice to meet you, mate. How are you? Up and down, left and right. Well, yeah, most of us are. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find that straight line, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all trying to find that straight line, mate. But as you can see, I'm a bit wobbling myself, so <laughs> never get there. I'm getting there, mate. I'm, I'm right behind you. Yeah, this is good, this. It's proper soul food, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your favourite dish from here? No idea. I like to sit half and half, so I'll get like half jerk chicken, half lamb chops, a bit of broccoli and kale, yeah, and yeah. white rice. Oh, broccoli and kale. Ooh, I'd have broccoli, but I'm not really on kale. I'm not too keen on kale. Feel it all. Your palate will evolve. But yeah, but no, to be honest, that's show chicken. That's nice, that. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, brown, I'm a fan of anything brown stew. Brown stew means it's, it's literally in the name, it's being browned yeah. and, and then stewed, so it should be really soft. It's really soft, full of flavour, and that is that, that's amazing. So I'm just about to tuck into this. So what's the difference between a dumpling and a festival? A dumpling, a festival is a dumpling without sugar. Yeah. So there's no sugar in the festival. Uh, no, no sugar in the dumpling. But a festival is meant to represent like a Caribbean carnival. The way yeah. They, they, they have a parade, so it's meant to. Yeah. Oh, our own one. <laughs> our own. So they had they had the carnival in Chapel Town in Leeds. Oh yeah, no, a couple of weeks since. I also, also cancelled a few years back, so we're trying to improvise. Yeah, no, and I, I were on board the uh, so local uh, radio station LDC. They worked with West Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service. Oh yeah, and they did a, a float in the parade. Now we're on there, and I were on microphone. Oh, hey, oh, come on, let's get somewhere. I tell you, and the amount of food that were that were there, I have never seen so much Jamaican food in my life. Some Caribbean food there that were just absolutely off the level. And if I could have stopped and had it every single one, I would have done, but I think I'd have been like this. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. it's designed to fill you up, fill you up and fill you out. So, somebody was telling me about Raga and that they used to cook. What's the backstory of that? Because it was, well, uh, Yeah, well, um, years and years ago, um, Raga used to have, it used to sell food from a, a, flat, a flat. Yeah. And, and this flat, it, it was literally like a, a nice drive through of people. They had a queue around the corner. And my brother said to him, look, the food's nice. So if you want, I'll buy a shop. We go half and half, and I'll have to sell the food legally. All right. So we turned turned the whole thing around. Raga was a raga means ragamuffin. Yeah. Get get us street. Ragamuffin, no, no, uh, zig and zag. Remember them? <laughs> they used to ragamuffin style. <laughs> I'm telling you, mate. Yeah, man. Turn on the landing light. Woo, ragamuffin. Well, yeah, on on that same vibe. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Little, little Happy Jamaican vibes. Color. Yeah. Mouth full of gold teeth, and he spoke like almost robotic. My yeah. name is Raga, and I sell the best food in Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But, um, but yeah, like, but these recipes, like, they're not on Google or anything like that. These, right. these are from his, his, his nan, his grandma. So like, these recipes are just like over over half century old. Yeah, old, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's why like, you can't really. There's no, there's no comparison to it, and we've been here since 2006. Right. Nearly, so nearly 17 years. So doing something right. Well, it must be, mate, if people keep going back and buying it, and I can, so far I can see why. Didn't realise it were your brother, he snuck in there like I thought it was just some bloke coming to buy some gear. You know what I mean? I thought you were coming to buy it, buy, no, it, buy your chicken, and, I, and, he, and he's here, oh yeah, that's my brother. No, uh, right no wonder it. it's good. <laughs> no, it is, it speaks, speaks, yeah. it speaks for itself, but it's, yeah, no. it's a proper family business, this. Right. Um, and if you, if, if, if you don't work here, they're not family, it's definitely a family friend. Yeah. But no, well, thanks for your time, mate. So far, so good. I'm going to tuck into this now. But yeah, I'm loving it. Thank you. I Thanks for like sharing your story. Thank you. Thank you very much, mate. Have a good one. You too, mate. Right, cameraman. Let's get into this. So, so this is without sugar. <laughs> Woo! So basically, we've got that without sugar, and you can actually tell. You can see there. There, there is a slight difference. I think it's like with 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 the, with the, with the pastry as well, with the, the crust of it as well. You can see that that does look sweeter. Oh, and it smells. That smells sweeter. And it is sweeter. This is more doughy. Right. I'm going to dip it in first. There we go. Oh. 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 Do you know what? That is absolutely bang on. Could it go? Really, really nice, strong flavour coming out of there. You get a hint of coconut there from the rice, from the actual sauce, but then the spice hits you, tickling the back of your throat. The meat is just absolutely, look at that, oh, falls to bits guys, 
false to bits. That is how it should be cooked. Sometimes, as well, you'll find carrot in there, look. Oh! They'll be bone in, or bone on. That looks like there's no bone in it as well. Added, added goodness! If I'm honest with you, oh, I think the last time I was blown away with Caribbean food like this was on my floors. I love you, alright? Yeah, you go for it, love. Right, you go for it. Alright, Paul, how are you doing? Good, man, are you? Yeah, good, mate, thank you. How are you finding the food? Mate, this is, this is exceptional food, this, if I, I must say. What is it you've got here? So I've got the jerk chicken, yeah. I've got the brown chicken, and I've got the curry goat. Bang on. Oh, I don't. Do you know what, mate? I've got some gravy. I've had a dumpling. I don't think I can put no more in. I'll get you a patty. You can let me. Nah, know. I can't eat no more, mate. I'm full. Come on. I'll get you a patty. You let me know what you think. Yeah, are they good? Go on, then. Get us a patty, and I'll try it. So this guy's gonna get me a patty. Says I've got to try a patty. Everyone's nodding his head. Because he's thinking, yeah, he's going to get the rest of it. I'm absolutely bagged here, all right? And this is the problem sometimes when I try foods with all different flavours. It fills me up pretty quick because I feel like I'm going from one meal to another and I've had it. So let's go back to what I was saying. Mama Floors. Manchester. That sort of set the bar for me. For the, the Caribbean food that, that I was eating. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is up there with Mama Flo's on a, on a level par you know what I mean I think I now know where to go in Liverpool and in Manchester for the best Caribbean food I think these two need to have a cook off <laughs> to see which is best because this is absolutely great the jerk chicken absolutely gorgeous with the rice and peas the rice and peas nice and fluffy and soft full of flavour you've got that chicken breast there full of all that jerk seasoning all those bits of onion and peppers, a little bit of tomato, all coming through, giving it a zesty, tangy taste, and the spice of the jerk just hitting the back of your throat. It's like a little firework going off. I then dip the festival in the jerk gravy. The jerk gravy looks a bit like oxtail soup, but it's not. It's absolutely bang on. It is just absolutely beautiful, full of flavour. As a dipping sauce and a pouring sauce, I'd have that on my chips. I'd even go as far as say I'd probably try it on my fish, <laughs> if I'm honest with you, right? Then I moved on to the, the, the brown chicken. If I'm honest with you, it's some of the, I've seen on menus when I've been to places, but I've always sort of swerved it. I'm glad I've tried it today, because like the guy said, it's, it's, it's stewed, it's brown and stewed. And it tastes good, because all that goodness, got a bit of charring on there. All that goodness inside the chicken, the chicken is nice and moist on that beautiful bed of rice. Just tastes absolutely great, fabulous, and it was refreshing more than anything, right? But then this has just absolutely blown my socks off. This curry goat, right? Nice bit of rice, the flavour in that, it is whizzing round my mouth like I'm five years old again on a merry go round. I'm like this, woo, woo! It is just sending saucy flavours around my head. I can't believe how tender and taste, tasteful that meat is, it is just so full of taste, it is unbelievable. Coupled up with a dumpling, amazing, amazing. Uh, wait, oh, whoa, <laughs> tall flight got me at face then. I just, I just don't know what to say. Oh, he's here, look. Oh, that one's a chicken one. A chicken one? I prefer the beef personally. Yeah, yeah. but no, I'll give it a go, mate, thank you. Thank you very much, mate. This guy here has got me a chicken patty, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Let's break this in half. Oh, it's got a nice crumble to it. Oh, look at that. He might have done me a solid here, this guy. Oh, do you know what? Oh, mate. Not bad, it? Back on road, yeah. Back on road. Cheers, pal. That is bang on. That is lovely. So I can't judge on this, but... But... You back into that. Wow. Bang on. Absolutely. Bang on. I've got a right spicy back of my throat now. 
So guys, if you've beaten the raggers in Liverpool, let me know what you think. Is it the best Caribbean food in Liverpool? For me, yeah it is so far. Not tried many, right? But it is the best Caribbean food in Liverpool without a doubt. That's burning my mouth off. Absolutely full of flavour. For me guys, it's an easy solid 10. Get yourself down here and try it out. I'll see you next time. I'm going to wet the whistle because my mouth's on fire after that patty. Here we go. How are we doing? All right, pal. How are you doing? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, mate. Good, thank you. There we go. Told you. How are you, mate? You all right, pal? How are you doing, pal? There you go, told you it was him. <laughs> Alright, let me I'll bring you back. Let me get a quick picture, okay? How was the food? Good mate, good. good? Yeah, my 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 mouth my mouth uh, on is on fire, like it's tingling on fire, it's it's, it's doing somersaults, I've got rainbows coming out of here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Thanks very much, Ryan. Nice okay? to meet you, mate. That's nice oh you've got a grip on you, haven't you? Took my arm off that lad. Look at that. Nice to meet you. See you later. Woo! See you later.